Hello, fellow cocktail lovers. I recently committed to diversifying my cocktail repertoire so I'm not drinking Tito's and soda for the rest of my adult life. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna embrace my Italian culture and drink a Negroni. Well, let me tell you, it didn't go well. It didn't go well at all. I then stumbled upon a recipe for an Enzoni, which is basically a Negroni's little sister. It contains gin, Campari, simple syrup, lemon juice, and, in an interesting twist, muddled grapes. So I thought, you know what? This could be my foray into drinking Negronis, and that's what we're making today. Also, this was not intended to be a holiday video, note the tree, uh, but I realized that this drink ends up being bright red with a green garnish, so. When in Rome, the Enzoni was created by Vincenzo Errico in 2003 at the New York bar Milk and Honey. Let's take a look at all the ingredients we're gonna be using today to make this fabulous cocktail. We are going to start by muddling five grapes in a cocktail shaker. That is an oddly specific number, but we're just gonna go with it. Just think of some childhood trauma and smush the hell out of them. This is a sad sight, but it's, it's gonna make a great drink. Next up is an ounce of gin. In you go. Who doesn't love gin? Next up is an ounce of Campari. Now, if you haven't had Campari before, just know that it is beautiful, but it is bitter. It is, it's as bitter as Kanye was at the 2009 VMAs, to give you a frame of reference. Fun fact for you on Campari. Campari originated in Italy in 1860 and was originally produced using carmine dye to give it this beautiful, robust color. Now, carmine dye used to be made using cochineal, which is basically a bunch of ground up, tiny little spiny insects. The fact that a pandemic didn't stem from that practice is a miracle in and of itself. Campari is now made with artificial food coloring. So I guess that means it's vegan now? I'd ask a vegan for their opinion, but I don't wanna to listen to an hour long diatribe about their diet journey, so I'll pass. Next in our cocktail is three fourths of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Which actually turns out to be exactly one half of a lemon. Who knew? Finally, we're throwing in half an ounce of simple syrup. In goes some ice, and we're gonna give her a shake. Do you ever see those bartenders on YouTube shaking their cocktail shakers? I swear to God, every time I'm watching, it's it's like I'm waiting for them to dislocate their shoulder. If you want to turn your rotator cuff, that is the career for you. I opt for a more gentle shake. I've got my glass ready with my big ice cube, and we're just gonna strain. Oh, beautiful. See, that is festive. That is festive. I'm going to garnish this with some green grapes I impaled on a toothpick. Look at that. Oh, into the, okay, into the depths they go. Now for the moment of truth. What the hell is that? Some of my garnish uh, peeled off there, but that's okay. Let me tell you, this is delicious. Let me know what you all think of this. I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. And while you're watching this, feel free to check out the rest of my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you all soon as our cocktail journey together continues. See ya.